Hello there. This video is on how to read the API, the uh, scripting AP API for custom NPCs that allows you to write scripts for NPCs and other items and things in the NPC world. Um, so uh, let's see, I've got my bucket of lava here in my torture chamber and uh, I'm going to go through this. This might take more than one video to really sum up all everything that needs to be known about the API, but I'm going to go through some important points here. So let's just go right over to the API. And on Nope's page here, he has the links to the different APIs for the different versions. And down below are the hooks or the functions that refer to the different uh, things in the custom NPC mod. This first group is for NPCs and you can see there's an interact uh, hook here and called when a player interacts with an NPC. There's dialogue uh, hooks here, melee attacks, died when he kills something and these are all different functions that can be accessed and then we have ones for the scripted block similar there's interact there's redstone neighbor changed clicked as opposed to interact that would be left and right click left and right mouse clicks and then there's player events <coughs> excuse me and then scripted item events and projectile events which are more advanced here but uh, let's see what we're going to do we're going to going to start with the NPC events here and it should show up with frames on. This stuff is just all kind of Java stuff that you can just kind of ignore for now. A lot of people don't know Java and this kind of looks overwhelming, but the main thing are these classes right here. Okay, these are the things that you can get commands to build with and write programs with in JavaScript or other programming languages. So here we have block events here, and then we have the different interfaces and item events, and then here are the NPC events and the interact event right here. You can just ignore a lot of this. This is a lot of, um, I don't know what, but uh, down here in the fields we have um, are the important parts, and this is player, API, and NPC. So the event can, the interact event can refer to those three fields. Uh, the player is um, player field is an I player and that means it's a uh, it's an object so it it has different methods to get in, in more information from it also. So the NPC if this just goes jumps down below right here and that's an I that's for the um, interface to custom NPC and that's listed right over here if you look um, where is it it's right yeah right there so if I click on that that will go to the same place as that and here we have the interface for the custom NPC and as you <coughs> as you see here um, it has uh, get advanced get AI uh, get dialogue some of these are like the tabs in uh, the NPC, faction, inventory, jobs, roles, stats. So if you want to um, get some information or set some information, you have to access those. Um, these are objects, okay? When you get something like this, and it looks like this over here, it has an interface that's going to be an object. This INT, that means that's going to be a number or an integer. Um, there isn't much more here, but uh, let me just uh, jump down here. And then methods inherited. There can be some methods inherited, as you can see, entity, entity, living, living, and entity, entity living base. Um, and all these are, can refer to an NPC also. So you can uh, you can get its health, get its attack target, um, swing hands, set offhand items, change the items in the hands, get what items are in the hands, depending on um, which uh, 
inherited group you uh, you look in. So all these are available also. So it would be event NPC and then one of these methods. Um, if we look at the player, the iPlayer interface over here, um, these are similar. This would get a string, get display string. This is a array. If you see a something, one of these methods that returns this, that would be an array. And this is an item stack array, which is a object. Um, it's a object information depicting an a item. Um, so that would have additional methods to get information for it, but if it's an array it has to be handled as an array. Um, and boolean, that would be either true or false, return that, and you might also see float or float arrays, things like that, but just to make you aware of, of things like that. So if we go to the example here, um, we go over to this guy here and I click on him and you can see he's telling me his uh, skin uh, number which is his ranged uh, accuracy and um, that's it so oh actually if I was in survival you see he's he's taking health away from me so how does he do that um, it's very simple this is a basic interact event function interact event event NPC say and that's right here right there say and that takes a string so you have a string I just have a1 or a plus now event NPC get display and then get skin texture uh, and that's all, all it takes like I showed you up here get display and then get display I interface for display is an object and then you can get all these things from the display object you can get the name you can get the cape you can set the cape you can uh, set the name set the tint various things that you would do in the display tab so and something that's um, kind of if you ever see other people's scripts you could see that uh, they they have a shortened form these are abbreviated you can abbreviate like get display to just display you just drop the get put the first letter to lowercase and then drop the parentheses just like I did with skin texture also and in this line I did it too that would be actually get stats get ranged get accuracy okay that's what that number was and then here we have we have the player field as opposed to the NPC field and set health event player dot get health and subtract 10 so that's what's going on there when I click on him that 60 is his accuracy right there and so if we go over here this guy has let's just hit him okay and what he does he reports this big long thing nopes dot npc blah blah player wrapper and that's the object of a of the player me who is hitting him b is what type of damage or where the damage is coming from and then c is how much the damage is since i was just hitting him with what bare hand it's just one but he only has a health of one so so event source let's go over here real quick maybe you be best to see this first event damaged okay so source is an entity okay event source um, damage is float and then damage source is a is an object also so this is an object entity this is an object so and that has a get type to it so in the script here I have damage source get type and then event damage okay so that's amount of damage so if you look back here the first thing is the player wrapper and then player and then the damage is one yes so even though source is an entity it is also since I am a player I can use the 
different methods from the iPlayer interface. So I could put in there something like event source dot get name. Okay, so then if I hit him, oops, he says, as you look down here in the, in the chat, it's doubt to log. Okay, so that's how you can do it. Now that if I put lava in here, you'll see. You see it caused an error. Now why was that? Well, the reason was because he uh, it's trying to get a name from null and so that's that's a big problem. It's trying to get a name from null and there is no name of null. So that's going to cause an error. So in something like this, you should probably check your what where the source is coming from and if it's coming from NPC or a player, then it will have a name. And there's two different ways of getting that name. It's different. You have to say display name for an NPC, and for a player, it's just get name. So um, that's why that errored out like that. Null has no function get name right there. So now then, if we do it again, okay. So you can see right there. He is either taking damage from the lava, four damage from the lava, or one damage because he's in fire, it seems like. Okay, once he catches on fire, he stays on fire, it looks like. Oh, there's another lava. So, and the the uh, source is going to be null because it's uh, it's not an entity. So, that's something you should check. And similar with the if he drowns here. Um, nobody's getting hurt in this, okay, it's just uh, it's just an experiment, so I just want to make, you, make everyone... <laughs> okay, there we go. So he drowned there, and and you can see the drowning was similar, also it's null because it's not an entity. Um, and it causes two damage. So that's uh, what the API, how it works. It works with objects and methods and you're either getting text or numbers or objects which have more methods. So I hope people understand that, that the source, even though it's an entity, it could be a player or it could be a NPC or it could be even an animal or something like that I suppose. Um, it could be a wolf or something that that kills him possibly. Um, it could even well and then of course if he falls off someplace he could uh, he could die that way also. Um, yeah that would be another type of damage and that would be the source would be null on that one also. So I hope this helps somebody get uh, at least uh, not be so intimidated by the API here and uh, I'll try and have another one to explain in depth some more things in here. So thanks for watching.